It's definitely a very important moment for international law, for the international uh, criminal justice, uh, because it means really accountability at the highest level. And uh, so, yes, we welcome it. Uh, and on Monday, we are going to have here in London a conference. Dominic Raab has invited justice ministers from all over Europe to discuss how we can strengthen the work of the International Criminal Court. And I think it sends a very clear signal also to everybody in Russia about what can happen if they are part of crimes against humanity. Do you think it sends an important message to other global leaders as well? Vladimir Putin's due to be meeting the Chinese president, for example. Do you think it will perhaps send a bit of a signal to countries who are perhaps not recognising Putin's crimes? It, yes, definitely. And we have 123 countries who are part of the International Criminal Court. And for all of them, it will always be a question, can you still talk and receive somebody like Putin? And there is an international arrest warrant. Um, so all of that will limit Putin's possibilities. But Sophie, let me also say that we have to look also at the political fallout of that, because what does it mean? Will this mean that Russia's position on the war will harden even more? So there are many, many implications which need to be taken into account. And you think there is a risk of that? There is a risk of that, but at the same time, I think within the Putin administration, many people will have now second thoughts about their participation in this, in this crime of aggression, in this war.